I got a Cerberus eating a milkshake. That was fucking nasty. Is that all the... Hello! Hey! Hey, everybody! Hey. Uh, hello. Howdy. Welcome so back to D&D. We're, wow. we're probably just gonna uh -oh. chat for a little bit, warm up, and then get into I hope you and all it. enjoyed my Pokemon <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I might steal the rest of them, honestly, because I don't think you're gonna do anything with them, and they so. look cute on my cup. It's not a bad plan. I don't have any stickers, but I'm thinking of adding an army of dents. That would be fun. <laughs> Only that plan could go wrong very quickly, I imagine. Look, yeah. Show them the big yeah. old dent that you added the other day on accident. The only one, or? Is that the only one on oh. it currently? Yeah. I thought that was a while um, ago I added that, but. Gotcha. That was a couple right weeks ago. That was recently. Yeah. But yeah. Here, I'm lie down. It helps you grab the bottle better, so I want more. <laughs> Cause I totally did. Gonna, just drop the bottle at the gym earlier. Room. It, it depends. I don't know. I don't know how double wall is this. You can't dent it outward. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the dent doesn't even affect it. In. No, it's not. Is it not? No, it's just, just double wall, so it's just denting that. So technically, like the insulation oh. bubble is slightly less air in it, which can Cat. probably affect it in a minor way. But he has a big old nose. <laughs> it looks Shame. like a lion. Caramel. He does. Caramel looks Ryan. so much happier now that he's not ordering around a group of pets. Yeah. <laughs> he's still grumpy. No baby. <laughs> Look at his face. He's gotta be I somehow had sand on my water bottle. Excellent. What? Eat it. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, Could maybe from some the kind of floor grip. of my car. That, that does, does make, make a lot of sense. Like... Yeah, it does spend right, a lot of time my... there. My car is sandy. <laughs> That's where I see you for so. That's your fault, then. Never mind. Want to tell Stream about how you got my key stuck in my ignition the other day? Yeah. Do, do tell. Um, so the key came. We went to take the key out, and it only came out halfway. Then we couldn't figure out how to get it out. But... And then I got in the driver's seat. I backed up my car. I put it, like, back where he parked it. Put it in park, and then it came out perfectly. So it just didn't like me, clearly. <laughs> so we made it work eventually. All the updates I have, I think. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Anyone else do anything fun <gasps> this week? I almost choked and died on a cheeseburger. Minutes ago. Literally, like oh. 10 minutes ago. That's iconic. Mm -hmm. I guess I should learn work? how to like do the Heimlich or something like that. I don't know if it was a situation where I think that would you, work. you were you were scared for a second. I was. I was like, um, nah. If I'm doing a Heimlich, I'm just pretending I know what I'm doing. It's not like I, I can. There was a reason it, so. I mentioned that. It's because my voice is like raspy now. <laughs> <laughs> it's but like when you get food coughing stuck coughing in your throat and, and you gotta cough a couple times to get it out. It just continued right. for several minutes. Yeah. So, you know. There was one point I couldn't breathe. Anyways. How is everybody else? Ah. Work. <laughs> I, feel like... I got a new job. Woo. How's it going? You steal any packages yet? No, I don't I start for another started. two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's so not no. even starting starting. I, that's that's trading. Mm. I got yeah, a four yeah. hour training on the third and then I have a eight and a half hour training that following Wednesday. Yeah, don't steal anything during training. That's probably not the best. I'll call. try not to. <laughs> yeah, but on the After contrary, training. they're going to think, like, there's no way this guy's going to steal stuff when he's training. He needs True, that's the easiest time yeah, to do no. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you see anything games. you really like. Slowly, yeah, just steal any electronics or whatever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lose the government job I've worked a month eBay. and a half to get. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. All the background checks I've had to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? God. So many, and so many background checks it was crazy. Vetted. And they didn't find anything. I find. Nothing five. yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. As they, as far that. as they know, I haven't Ooh. committed any crimes yet. <laughs> Fair <That's> enough. Great. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, would we all like to play a little D and D today? I am yeah. down. Uh, why do I have two things open with the D and D game? It's fine. Everything will be fine. Well, it has been a little while since we had games coming out actively. So, hopefully, the schedules will allow us to continue. But, 
We must figure out what happened last time with the lore master. I'd like to step forth. I mean, I don't know who's the lore master here. Oh, I'm trying to give you a cool title since you're doing all the work, you know. It's... I mean, not really. <laughs> I'm not really doing all the work. Like all, all the work on the lore mastering. Of I mean, the lore side. Explaining that's it fair. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I could sum it up. Though, there, to be honest, the thing is, as, as we were talking about before the stream, actually, um. There really wasn't much that actually happened last session, so it's really easy to recap. So, it is actually you know. fairly easy. Nothing really important happened, right, Mitch? Nope. <laughs> no one almost died or anything. Oh, nope. Oh, no, no one almost died or anything. So, well okay, then. But previously on Titan's Edge. So last session, the group managed to return back to Sequoia. Um, after having, you know, entered the teleportation circle um, at Sakura and leaving behind their dear friend Milo to stay uh, on semi-permanent house arrest. Um, they found themselves inside the Chancellor's Palace um, unexpectedly through this teleportation circle, probably intercepted in some, some way. And uh, after talking with the guards, they found out the Chancellor was actually not there uh, at the minute. He was currently out actually with a member of Titan's Watch. Um the group quite curious about this decided to figure out where Giovanni was found out he was at the leaky hag within the town um and went to go catch up with him where they found out through him and some other exploration uh, endeavors that the blue beetle uh, otherwise known as the leader buffalo uh, but sorry you're right i don't know I, I put blue beetle i suck man that's that dc movie it's getting the to white me. beetle yeah, good point. It's just a mix. Anyways, blue Not buffalo. Lore master. Messing up the lore. <laughs> it's all right. Good. Hey, you know, it just proves who the real one is. Um, anyways, so blue buffalo. Uh, he, who is the leader of the other team, who is against us in this sort of pseudo competition that uh, has been created by the leaders of Titan's Watch. Um, he is the one who's currently with Giovanni. Uh, sorry, with the Chancellor out in the wilderness. So... We have to wait a few days before we can actually talk to the Chancellor and try out this plan that Ash and Milo have concocted together. Um, so what do you do when you got extra time on your hands? You go shopping. And the group proceeded to go and check out some shops, go get some stuff. Uh, and along the way, they found, uh, who, well, they found Father Romero, who happens to be a connection of Rex's past, the one who brought him into the clericdom um, to worship the, the faith of, of Celestria that uh, he holds so very dearly. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, upon taking some time to be with Father Romero, then uh, Rex happened to uh, be um, no longer with Father Romero as the person he was talking to revealed himself to be an assassin here to try and kill him uh, after having found out that the you know lovely uh, prince uh of the dragonborns was here so yeah um you know rex narrowly survived an assassination attempt because everyone was off shopping so we didn't know he was in danger um until it was too late um and uh yeah uh, we, we just ended off where the group kind of is sitting wondering how best we're going to take care of the situation now that we know that people are going after rex and uh, knowing full well again that we are a party member down, but looking to hopefully continue our work in Titan's Watch as we continue to wait for the Chancellor to come back. Indeed. We return as Xylo panics as the layout keeps shifting around. Yeah, I was just about to say, currently to... <laughs> I'm uh, Ignatius. <laughs> as much as I'd love to play as him, I think you would be Kano great. Want to. <laughs> I am Ignatius. So... I'm just going to do this the me. sloppy way to now get it I'm started. There's no, paladin. there's nothing clean to do. So we'll just rip it all apart real quick. Yep. Nope. That's not what we need to rip apart. It's fine. <laughs> Shut silence. Silence. Your it's surgery's fine. not quiet. Yeah, it is. Sometimes. I guess didn't not usually. Didn't even a painkiller before going through this process. You just did nope, it. Nope. I'm just ripping everyone's faces off and sewing them over other people's faces. <laughs> Nothing weird about this is going on, guys. Why can't you all just be like Mitch and just be in the right spot for no yeah. good reason? I don't know. Wait, move Kano down again. This is important. Okay. Go down where? 
I, I'm waiting to. Did you move him? Somewhere. The background yeah. looks like a penis. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like a little gap move. between the landscape. It does. All right. Well, I'm gonna put Kano right back on that, and we're I, gonna. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks You're welcome. That. That's great just, to know. Let's just consider that behind you at all times during the. That's what I was gonna. Okay. Yeah. That's that's you know. It mm. was important. I was only ever worried about the one that was underneath me, never the one that's behind me. Kano's <laughs> protecting right. us from fallacies. It's okay. More like phallaxies. <laughs> Gotta be oh, more obvious it. about it. The kids are not gonna get the joke unless you put it in their it's, face, Maddie. No, okay, we don't need to put it in anyone's face considering the topic of the joke. It's fine. It's. I think the joke going <laughs> yeah, under the actually good. actually a very good point. Yeah, Never mind. It's, pushed it um, too far. Yeah. Anyway, we return to the Sentinel, where a certain dragonborn has just recently been healed significantly after a familiar face almost beat him to death. There's almost a quiet as things calm down and Giovanni returns to the scene. Okay, everyone, so what did I miss? Oh, he nearly missed Red. me, uh, be dead. Is it something he someone else did or some of your own that doing one. this time? It wasn't me this time. Well, good to see you're alive. Yeah, barely. Is this going to affect things at all, or are we just going to move past this like every time someone else almost um, dies? Well, this is definitely going to affect us in the long run now. It's not the first time I've been hunted. won't be the last. Ah, uh, yeah, that is coming uh, coming up. Yeah, I think I saw some other people uh, poking around by the docks. Hopefully they won't know that you're staying here. Ah. <sighs> What do they look like? Uh, one was a ship full of dragon types. A ship full? Well, yeah, dragonborn, like not literal dragons, obviously. No, so no, 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 but a, a ship lot. full of dragonborns. Like a small, medium ship. Like 10 to 15. I don't appreciate 15. all the cursing. Great. Dragon... Ship? <clears throat> You're saying there's a ship full of dragon. Must be my accent. Not sure what a we're talking word. about here. <laughs> but anyway, we got some uh, potentially good news. The Chancellor's arrived back in town. Oh, great. Already. Yeah, so I suppose uh, you guys want to meet with him. Well, yes, immediately. Depends. Am I going to walk outside and get fire bolted or something? I can turn you into a cricket. No. Inconspicuous? Okay, no. Why is that a bad idea? Something else. I'm just be. offering to help. But why was the first thing a cricket? That's the first thing I thought of. Would you rather be something else? Yeah, I can do anything. A lizard? Uh... A squirrel? Um, Something that's natural? Uh, Are you saying squirrels are Are lizards natural? and squirrels not natural? Are they natural in this environment? Because everything here is freaking is weird. America. Everything is natural here. My ass. Make it anyway. uh, a squirrel with like saber, saber yeah, teeth. Yeah, apparently that's what we need. Saber tooth squirrel. Is that what you want to be, Rex? <laughs> sure, whatever. Different saber thing. squirrel saber it is. <laughs> I've never seen one before. Are they particularly oh gosh. Well, I guess we'll find out if I get turned into one. I would like to turn Rex into a saber squirrel. <laughs> All right, so suddenly, Rex, your vision blurs for a My moment robes. <laughs> until everyone becomes taller than you. Your robes seem to disappear in the moment, but okay. you find yourself covered in white fur with large, maybe... Two-inch fangs protruding from your mouth. 
You can only squeak now. Squeak. <laughs> I, I will would hold like out to my pick... hand. Oh, uh, yeah, oh. I was going to pick him up or <laughs> that works as well. I want to squeeze him. <laughs> like one of those, like, gopher toys. The eyes bug out. <laughs> I meant like squeeze them like a hug, but you know what? Even better. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Either or. Doesn't matter. Hmm. He seems to be unsure who to choose. Well, I ain't carrying him. <laughs> <laughs> Just squatting down as like a little goat, like. Yeah, I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll crawl over to Ash instead. Put you up on my shoulder. I am now your parrot. Yep. There you Good. go. Problem solved. So you can't say I never did anything well. with the group or for the group. I would so, like a shark cooter literally, on board. Anemone is the reason why we even got to rising time <laughs> yesterday. Like last yesterday. Is she? Yeah. Yep. You turn into a giant goat and I cast uh <laughs> Like, uh, uh, what is it? Expeditious retreat on you? Yeah, so you, you went, guys like, are going double fast, your and movement. me and Tork are like chugging down the road, but you guys <laughs> yeah. can't. So you can't you can't go went, like, zoom. Nine around. Fastest goat the world has ever she's seen. She's an enemy is ready. She's rested. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. So where are we going? Oh, the Chancellor. I think he'll have cheese and crackers. Probably. <sighs> I think it's probably not a bad place to get going. I would Do like to it? feed Rex a peanut. I just like smack it. Did you polymorph him? I have no idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> Probably. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I am. We don't even know. I it's, 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 she doesn't use her magical she powers. Open. There's yeah. not a spell involved whatsoever. I know, and now oh, I, I know am, she can do it. So, now I'm you know. <laughs> Kay said, I want this, and Alexander went, whatever he you want. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she has polymorph, so sure. I'm going to be honest. That's typically how our day to day works. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, possible. Yeah, we can make that happen. Food. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want mac and cheese on it. We don't have any mac and cheese, but we do have spaghetti on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and <laughs> make it work. I want to. You just go gotta chop the spaghetti noodles a little smaller. Yeah. On it. I want a brown. Isn't... I literally was like bedridden the other day in pain, and I was like, I want brownies, and he went and made me brownies. <laughs> Aww. Aww. It was very sweet. It's like an hour long process and it made some really medium brownies, mediocre brownies. Those brownies friggin' slap. Honestly, though. brownies of any level are brownies and they are yeah. They were delicious. definitely brownies. You can never really go wrong with brownies. I was gonna say, po yeah. the reason why I asked if it was polymorph because like, doesn't, isn't Rex like actually a squirrel? Like he doesn't have his own mind. <laughs> I did polymorph him, yes. Um, oh, so, so. I am, so am I just not in control of myself? You You're in control squirrel. of yourself. You just, yeah, he has the hit points. You have the mind of a squirrel. Oh. Yeah. So you would take so my freaking peanut. I basically peanut. have no thought process. Well, it seems to indicate, at least according yeah, I to thought, this, yeah, that, keeps most of your stuff. that I think I think he still can do things, but it, like in terms of like... He's we'll say for sake of, of fun, you're still so Rex in there. He's not smart enough to okay. speak. Okay. He can't cast any spells, and he can't take any action that requires hands or speech. Even though you have hands, there's just, nope. They just yeah. don't I think do it's anything. like somatic. I don't, I don't know like, how these work. I don't know how like these work. Spell, like somatic, like. Yeah, you don't have you know. human fingers, which are necessary for somatic components. However, <laughs> you can pick up stuff. Small sort of things. Small, small objects. And when we want to change them back. And all... you can take those objects and smack them against hard surfaces if given the yeah. right opportunity. Can't wait to find the walnuts. <laughs> <gasps> you could do T Rexes. True. Oh my gosh, you're right. The I think the one thing is that when Ash wants to turn him back, all she has to do is throw him against a wall and cause him to take damage, and he'll turn back to normal. <laughs> that is that is how it works. That's also why I, my ears perked up when he started getting squeezed. So <laughs> squeeze too hard and yeah, fall in her lap. <laughs> I only have one polymorph for a seven foot dragonborn. So. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> just in my like, hands. Oh, so cute. Oh, yes. God. <laughs> That's funny. So, with a squirrel on your shoulder and the group are ready to go, you guys make your way back across the city through the familiar streets, through the gate that you've now managed to make it through a few times into the upper city. Um, you managed to get through 
without too much trouble. But Rex can show his little thing. You guys are let right through. And you make it to the medallion, the coin. <laughs> My two Actually, hands. yeah. I didn't yeah, I was going to say, I can't show it. That. Oh. Yeah, I can't show it. I am a squirrel. To be honest, I don't think it matters as much now because they probably know who we are to an extent. And we are did. they asking for the coin? I'm just going to say, for fun, someone make a persuasion roll to get through. It's only a DC 10. Oh, I got this. I was like, an enemy's going to go. Don't worry, gonna go. guys. They've seen you. They, you guys have made it through a few times. Even line. if it wouldn't work, Wonderful she would time. still try. Can I do Flash of Genius and give you a plus four to that? Sure. I want to flirt with the guard and Excuse make me? Iggy jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you want to let me through, don't ya? <laughs> The, the gate's already open. We can just walk right through. Oh. That's what I thought. It's a cool squirrel. Thanks, I made him. Whoa. Were you that goat that ran through the city? Like, speed of whatever? You're yeah. Goat? I was. Wow. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> Hidden. No, I could be so charming. Wow. <laughs> Did you need some brownies while you're at it? Brownies? Uh, yes. There you go. And them I, over. I think you're the party face. I'm not going to lie. She does have the highest charisma stat. I think you're the party face. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that's what I put everything into was my charisma. Yep. No, wisdom. <laughs> yep. Anemone so doesn't funny. seem very wise, but... Apparently she is. She's when not she that feels intelligent. Like it. Wise, but not intelligent. Yeah. Well, as you guys make your way through, before you even arrive to the Chancellor's Palace, you see him outside, kind of leaning against a fountain. Uh. I'm eating my brownies. Well, seems like he's there. We should probably go talk to him. What do we say? Hey, by the way, can you well, do this thing? Can you sacrifice yourself? I don't think we start with that. I think we just, you know, at least let him know we're back in town, considering he probably doesn't know that yet, unless his guards were nice enough to inform him that we came by. Didn't we leave to, like, find a problem for him and the fact that we come back, like, two days later? It was indeed the plan, but I don't think, at least right now, it doesn't seem like that was an issue. At least Milo indicated it. I, I don't know. It's been a while since we played. Did Milo... Milo didn't send a message to the Butterfly Man. He sent a message to Giovanni saying that we're coming back without him, right? Yes. Okay. So he, he has, like, no idea. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I should be the one. I mean, I can, like, give insight on what the game plan is if he wants to hear it, but actually, like, presenting it to him, I don't know. It sounds like it might be a job for an enemy again. Once you're done eating your brownies, of course. I'm busy. So does that mean I have to talk? Because Rex is a squirrel. I'm just over there, I guess like, so. I'm just like playing with Ash's uh, hair. I've done a <laughs> lot of the heavy lifting so yeah, far. Yeah, literally. Today. I'm tired. I literally, I made a saber squirrel. I charmed the guards with my wondrous beauty. You can do this. Okay. I eat my brownie. Bye. Slowly saunter over towards wow. Sensu. Hold on. How many spell slots do I have left? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Enhance Ability. And I'll give you... What is Charisma? Sorry, uh, Eagle's Splint? No. Fox is Cunning. That makes sense. No, wait. Uh, that's no, that's Intelligence. No, it is Eagle Splendor. Target, really? target has advantage on charisma checks. All right. Right. Nifty thrifty. I'll just pat you on the back and go, 
Go get him, buddy. <laughs> As you walk up, you see him kind of flicking a coin into the fountain. Hello, Zenzu. Were all of you always so nervous about walking up to someone? No. I, we just sort of accidentally left you for two days and didn't mean to, so we weren't sure how you would take it, so... Yeah. Figured you were doing something important. Uh, that we were. Um, right, do we have a solution yet? Yes, we do. Um, but you probably want to hear what it is first. Um, unfortunately, the person who would have probably been best at telling you about it, um, he isn't here. Yes, where is he? He, um, he is on house arrest in Sakura with his brother. Um, but we can tell you more about it if you want to. Uh, might just be better if we find somewhere uh, private to discuss this because it involves some things that we probably don't want people to know about. Good enough point. Follow me right this way. Preferably with cheese and crackers. And you see him walk up to this wall that has some vines draping down it. And he just puts his hand out and just walks right through the wall and the vines. Oh. I'm, I guess that's more illusion magic like thing. Like the tree. Alright, I'm just gonna walk through mm -hmm. it. Do all of you follow? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you come in and it just seems to be sort of looks like an abandoned storehouse with just a table in the middle some crates mostly empty by the look of them and only a little bit of light coming through windows that definitely weren't there from the outside all right so you wanted uh cheese and crackers right yeah sure and apple cider <laughs> I really can't do that for you, sorry. Do you at least have the cheese and crackers? Uh, you, you, make some cheese and crackers. And Giovanni comes up from behind you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that fate would be good for me to follow you guys. There you go, cheese and crackers. How did we not notice him? We and apple before. cider, please. He just moves his hand and apple cider appears on the table. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, really anything else? A warm bath, foot magic. massage, what else do you need? Ooh! I would like uh, a warm bath with a bath bomb. Um, Sounds kind of uh, dangerous. I, I don't well, really do foot massages because I have hooves. Um, I can make but you, I'll take your shoulder massage. Later. Okay. I like bombs. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Can we just focus on what's going on here, please? Yeah. Um. So, um. Ash, you uh, were. The, uh, do you want to explain to Zensu the solution that uh, you and Milo had concocted? Okay. So, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, our solution to the problem that where you wanted to be with your family again um speaking, is yeah. uh <laughs> so the other the other tree um sakura which is where we went because we had to go for milo um had something happen to it a long time ago and in order to fix it we need a very powerful magical conductor that the tree could then we reverse siphon the tree and put like something very magical into it to restore the magic in sakura and what we're thinking is that if you were that magical siphon then you would restore the sakura tree with your magic from sequoia and then you would go be with your family again on the other side and then 
you would no longer be indebted to Sequoia and it would come back. Uh... So you're, you're suggesting if I kill myself, the, both trees will just magically be fixed? Well, at least the one will be magically fixed. I know that for sure. I don't know. It doesn't really sound like yet. much of a plan rather than, rather than like a hope, really. Well, I know that the thing that you would be siphoned from works the opposite way to take magic out of the tree, so we need to put magic back into it. That is a guarantee, but Milo and his brother had the thought of something really powerful and thought it would be uh, you because then you would be using your bargain. I don't know if Sequoia would necessarily come back, but at least Sakura would be fixed. Um, and we wanted to hear your thoughts and what you think if that would be possible, because I don't know the whole bargain and deal from the ins and outs of what you did made with Sequoia. Um, but I suppose the deal I made was trying to bring life I suppose so that much stands so far I could bring life to a tree possibly but since I've been using that life for a long time what would happen to me um well because you're saying uh, the nonsense about the other side I don't really follow any of that necessarily well if it's not something you believe in and it doesn't exist, then you would be reunited with your family and whatever you do believe in. The ground. In... In my experience, that's generally where dead things go. So are you wanting to resurrect your family then? Is that the vibe I'm getting? That was specifically the goal and the bargain I tried to make. But it backfired because Sequoia couldn't do it. Yeah, in a way, I suppose, yes. Many would specifically ask for this. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. So a hypothesis is that if Myrtle come or not Myrtle, if Sakura comes back, they might be able to grant it better than Sequoia did. Trees don't grant wishes, love. I know, I know. that's kind of what I set up the whole tournament like but that's just something I said yeah well, you, you told us before that basically the wish that you granted was more just you using your power and leverage to enable someone to get what they wanted indeed and that brings us to another sore topic so recently someone won the uh, tournament and had a few uh, requests of me mm -hmm. now they don't quite know about the whole dilemma with the tree and the it being gone as, as much as you. However, they are invested in helping the trees, much like you are. The uh, Sephira of same group as you guys, right? Correct. Well, he kind of wanted his group to take credit for all that you guys were doing around the islands. So, okay. I may have told I you anger, I, I angrily that. climb up on Ash's head. <laughs> Wait, so so he basically was asking you to lie as his wish. Yeah, large part of it, yeah. Which, as you all know, not something I'm entirely foreign to. No. But that was our work. Yeah, he also wants to finish the rest of the work. Kind of kick you guys off to the curb. Send you packing. It's I look That's... at Giovanni. Like I also to... look at Giovanni. I really hate that guy. I'm just surprised he's this petty. He had the opportunity to have a, any wish he wanted, and he just wished for us to go. I may the have point suggested of all that of this I can only get whatever people. I suggest. And precisely, so if the job gets done, the job gets done. You just might have to go to somewhere else. Which is fair. Um, oh no. Giovanni just puts his head in his hands. I wish this stupid wish would have come before Milo got caught. Then we could have just went away and then they would have never known. Yeah. 
Yeah, if we get kicked out of here, we're probably going to have to go to somewhere worse. What do you mean, worse? Well, the only places that still are in need of help are, one, a place where Rex is currently wanted. Um, We, we could go back to my home, but I don't even know if the tree there is... Well, there's no tree. The Titan. Altura goes. and Infernum? Is it the two... Yeah, yeah, I think the next on the list is Infernum. Oh. Which I was trying to pull some strings and make it so Sephiro's group would have had to go there. But. Yeah. Hold on. So. We're just supposed to up and leave all the all the plans, all the work, all the things we had in motion i i very strongly would like to fix sakura at the very least before we go i'd like you to fix more than that personally i i would like to as well but what about myrtle look i'm just telling you all that the job's done you can leave you don't gotta leave i see what you're saying it's a similar situation of yes you're willing to lie and say that to people that the credit goes to Sephiro's team but you're also saying that you'd be willing to let us still work as long as we do it from what I heard the you titans watch fellas been coming here helping trees year after year just doing the same thing over and over again right Making sure that the tree is holding the titan up. Yeah, well, it turns out you've been doing it when this whole tree's not been here in the first place. Well, That's everyone correct. else seems to suck, then. <laughs> Admittedly, I've been sending him off to help the other trees. Saying this okay. one's fine, because look at it. It's perfectly fine. Just look, po points out the window. But it's not fine, it doesn't exist. Right. Does Sephiro know that about this tree? No. He thinks it's fine like all the rest of you. So realistically, <laughs> all he's getting from his request is the same thing everyone else gets year after year. So Help him have they mop a couple already... bugs off trees and then moves along. Well, you say they're trying to take our work then, right? Right. Are they claiming to have already checked and done what's needed to that tree? Yeah, from all they know, Sequoia's completely fine. So what if we call them out? I don't think we would be with Titan's Watch anymore. But they are not doing their job. Well, they... And we would have been doing the job. We'd have to prove it. Which... True, I guess that's a good point. But if we, we we can prove it, <laughs> if we bring the tree back, I don't know. I mean, I think that's fair. I, I also would like to point out, maybe it's just me in my brain thinking, but I at least don't want to make the Chancellor look bad if he's sponsoring this other Titans Watch group. I don't want to look bad on him for us to say, oh, this well, group that you've chosen now is looking and doing their job badly. Well, I don't want to keep doing our jobs if we're not going to get the credit for it. Well, I mean, Giovanni still gives us the credit we deserve. Yeah, this is only I mean, to do with the town. For all good that's worth, he'll get paid. Under the guise that other people are taking our work. This just doesn't feel right to me. So, hold on. We would get paid for the trees that we have helped so far, but they would just get the credit for it? I mean, What's they're the going to get paid, too. They've. They're out here doing some work, too, from what I know. No. So are yeah. they going to get paid also for the work that we're doing? Yeah, yeah, probably. That's stupid. Yeah, it is. Can Titans Watch even afford that? Probably. And if they I can't... I don't run the numbers. I mean, they're slacking on the food budget. I mean, it's not a good situation, but at least for me, the mission here is to help the Titans. The payment Do is Do you secondary. have an opinion? I think that you all <laughs> have some ideas. Yes or no? Do you have an opinion? 
Towards what? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what we're talking Did you about? turn your dragonborn into a squirrel? It's a saber squirrel. We did it for his safety. Um, someone tried to assassinate him. Early. I'm just holding on because you're holding me like that. <laughs> just. Hey, he did get kind of revealed recently, so fair enough. Do you have an opinion? <clears throat> I don't want to do the work if I'm not getting the credit and somebody else is taking the credit and also getting paid, even if I'm getting paid. How long term would you all like to look at this? This job? I usually think in days, so like tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus. Let's, let's start small then. Let's think two years. I barely know what I did yesterday. You turned into a big goat yesterday. I'm a big goat every day. An even bigger one. So, what if you were to magically fix Sequoia? And then all the other trees' problems would go away? Would I get credit for it? Not this year. However... We could all say the other trees still have problems and you guys come over here year after year to fix them. Realistically, they don't have much trouble to be caused. But they do still have problems. We we helped Myrtle with their with their icker issue, Look, but they the... still are dealing with like Rabbit. bunny fa bunny famine. It's been happening a lot. Not specifically bunny famine, whatever that means, but I start chewing on Ash's goggles when I hear the rabbits. Ever since I made the deal with Sequoia and all that. Them. Seems that that's when the trees all started to struggle a little bit. Hmm. That makes some sense. I'd imagine the ecosystem of Agarka probably shifted a lot when the central tree was taken away. If what you're all saying is right and the trees are important to holding everything together, makes sense. I don't if you're have a plan chancellor for you. and you don't realize that the trees are important. That's what everyone says. It's been like this soon, almost as long as I've been here, though. I've never seen it sink. I've never seen it take off, fly away. Because all the trees are still here. No, they're not. Well, it takes a long time. Did we? Like I want to turn him into a saber squirrel next. Did, did Baobab ever say that he was working harder, or did we ask him and he didn't answer? I don't know if Baobab ever mentioned something like that. I think Baobab just kind of begrudgingly allowed. I don't us think to they him. know that they're working either. I think they're just tree. I will say Baobab is just definitely just a tree. Dumb as a rock, that one. Tell him that. <laughs> I'll have, that's why I live over here. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know, my brain doesn't... It does not help that the one person who had the biggest brain among us is not here anymore. Okay. I'm not saying your brain's not big, Ash. I'm simply saying that Milo was the one who tended to put threads together. And... You know, normally you would be, but right now you're not, so... I put too many threads together. That's the problem. I mean, that's what we need right now. We're kind of out of options. All right, so what's on the table here? So you guys have a solution to help Sakura, but... We, we have a solution to help Sakura, and I would like to revert what happened to it. Because I would feel really bad to leave it how it is and all of this and all of Milo and everything that he had to deal with be for nothing and I don't want to just hop to another continent without at, at, at the very least fixing this problem. This problem is quite personal for myself and I know that Anemone has ties to Myrtle and would like that to be solved as well. I know we were ha we had a plan to head to Maple for other to say help the tree, but also to follow a thread there. And 
on t- and then there's you are wanting to be reunited with your family but you don't want to be uh, oh you don't want to be like in servitude to sequoia we need to bring sequoia back potentially like yeah, if so you many- all want to bring sequoia back i'm might be agreeable to it i don't want to risk all that but just I don't to bring even back sakura to... who's already alive but i think it's so the way we're it, framing it, yeah things. It's... If we bring back Sequoia, you'd be willing because you'd probably be out of your pact, but then you probably wouldn't even have your magic if you got out of your pact. So then we wouldn't be able to use your magic in fixing Sakura. Oh. I think the. I Am thought I that Milo the had a plan for fixing Sakura. Milo's plan originally was that we would, by taking the energy from the Chancellor. We would basically make it so that way the bargain would be inverted, I think. So that way, potentially, Sequoia would, again, come to life on its own. Um, the side effect would be that we could use the energy from the Chancellor to go to Sequoia. But the energy it. is Sequoia's, so how is Sequoia supposed to come back without its And what energy? if you had another tree to put the energy into? In terms of... Oh... You mean like if, if we planted a tree and then basically yeah, planted a rot tree, the rot tree in the. Do we have a sequoia, sequoia seed? Was there any remnants after you did the bargain with the sequoia tree? I might know where there's some. I'm pretty sure I suggested that in the first place. I think you did. You just didn't think of it at the time. So. There's, there's a lot of trees here, right? How many do we need? Well, One? Or, well, or to keep the Titan down? Or to get Sequoia back? To, let's say, keep the Titan down for your course. I mean, how many trees are there? You got Mangrove, Baobab. I mean, ideally, all the trees. What if some were, I say, expendable? I don't think any of the trees are expendable. They're all pull- pulling their weight. What about the little guy? I mean, bonsai, on the contrary, might be expendable. Why? Kidnap bonsai, put him in the hole. Release the energy into him, see what happens. We don't have another tree seed? We also don't have the machine. I can't transport that from Sakura, and to build it from scratch would be uh, weeks of, of work. At, at like the you very least, work ahead of you then. Well, how big is the machine? Can we teleport it here? I start clacking, like I start like slamming on like Ash's uh, okay, okay, goggles, what? like the glass. What? I, I shook my head. Yes. I squeeze him. <laughs> no. <laughs> like a squeaky toy. <laughs> Break his neck. <laughs> I can only do that once a day. You see... He wants to talk! You see the <laughs> Squirrel Rex make a cracking sound and drop to the ground. <laughs> a second passes and suddenly it shifts back into Rex. Yeah. <sighs> Welcome I'm just, I'm, back. I'm just Sorry, I, I just... I need to talk for a second. We're gonna steal a damn tree? How the hell do you steal a tree? It's a, it's tree. a bonsai tree. Bonsai He's like, move. It's like this big. Ten feet tall or something. Wait, ten? Have you seen a bonsai tree before? I mean, this is a big bonsai Maybe tree. Maybe ten Wait. inches. Have you seen where we are? Continent's messed up, man. So we're to steal a tree in hopes to that. put the energy into a, into that tree and see what happens. Make him big. I mean, that could work. The machine last time, I think, took me two days, and it was rushed, and that... <laughs> that's why it didn't work. So well, it time, then. I mean, it's going to take a day or two at least to go get Bonsai. We could send a squad of us to go do that while you rebuild the machine. It's not impossible. Not that splitting up is a great idea, mm-hmm. but we would be optimizing our time. Can't yeah. believe we're kidnapping a tree. 
Well, whatever. Kid bonsai, if it works, will probably be happy. He's been the smallest tree his whole life. Now he gets to be a big boy. Or, or he'll die. My... My house, or where I used to live, is in bonsai. So if you guys are going there, I would... Would want to go with you. Isn't is bonsai on the top of a mountain? Right now. Yeah, he likes to move around. Wow. Well, where's the village? Or your house? My, well... There's a... There's a within the trees. There's a t like a town, a city. My house was on the outskirts of it. Bonsai would sit in like I guess specific locations around, but he would move around and he'd go up the mountain when stuff like that. Yeah, he's completely been moved out of that whole area. The mycelium stuff's leaked out and kind of taken yeah. out of his own. From the looks of it, as far as I know, I thought he was on top of the mountain currently. Did Bonsai move before Sequoia was just removed? Honestly, I didn't know him that well before all that. That's fair. I was just curious because it could lend itself to your theory, but if we remove Bonsai, it may not make a difference. If his roots haven't been implanted in the Titan anyway, then... He moves around. How, how much could that really hold up? I no. think what the Chancellor is suggesting, though, is that we put Bonsai in the hole and pump magic into him and then he will get bigger correct and then his roots so then will his take roots over will what sequoia would yeah little guy but could be the new that... sequoia you yeah, don't think it's a bad plan we also know that there but are trees does... that propagate baobab propagated quite a bit all those big gigantic fruits so he, he we got know around so we know there's <laughs> ways to create new trees as well if what bonsai if bonsai doesn't work, we can always go back to Baobab and grab some of his seeds and plant them. Either way, we need a machine here. As far as I know, you're the only one who knows how to build it, Ash. Could we give the schematics to Milo and have him and then Aris make it and then send it through the teleporter to us here? Yeah, Milo's I mean, if brother can that... always help us out with that too. I was going to say... There's already one, and if we're getting them involved to send it, like, is that possible? I don't possible? know. It just. I mean, yeah. I mean, hy I, I, hypothetically, yes, it, it's possible. I mean, uh, you could send parts, like, break the machine down into chunks. Some of the stuff we hadn't even started building, like the like, uh, we had um, uh, magic uh, retainers that were going to like bounce magic off each other, so it didn't blow. Um, but I, I don't know how that then saves Sakura as well. Sounds like it doesn't. I, th I think, I think our party has to be saving Sequoia first. And once Sakura's we can take care of still that, there. we can That's take care of Sakura. Yeah. Trees grow back. And my only Good problem with using the energy is that Sequoia's energy in the first place. It should be used to fix Sequoia. Yeah, I'd feel Sakura. weird doing that for a different trees. I know this is a personal situation for you, but that's where I stand. Well, I think as a team, let's put it to a vote. Do I get a vote? I, I mean, we do kind of need a fifth person in do case you want it to join Titans watch. Absolutely not. Let's have us vote first, and if we need a tiebreaker, you can be the tiebreaker, Mr. Chancellor. Very well. I guess all in favor of getting Bonsai and trying to make him the new Sequoia, say aye. 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 <laughs> Sounds like that's the plan then. Great. Who wants cheese? Nothing. I do. 
And then May goes back to <laughs> eating her cheese. That was a lot of brain power. Eh. Well. Now, how do we intend to get to Sequoia? Or to Bonsai? Sorry, I'm already getting excited. Well, first we have to leave. Can you fly? City. I can fly. She can. What about the rest she of She probably them? also could, too. She'd just have to pin a bit of time to make a flying machine, but then we'd probably yeah. be okay. How good are you all at climbing mountains? Not too bad. I haven't been in a minute. long time, but... There's the tunnels under, but then we would deal with the Yuanti. If we have to go we have the one top right here with us, mountain. and he's the leader of the Yuanti, so we'd probably be safe in the tunnels. Yeah, Is they're not that bad down to there. The top? Yeah, there's plenty of tunnels. They pop up all around the mountain. Okay. And mm -hmm. that would be a very easy way to get out that would be discreet without alerting anyone because we're going through an illusionary hole. I would prefer it if you all yeah. keep a low profile. Oh, I'm trying. Here. Especially if I told one person I was going to kick you out. You have a, you know, people hunting after you after all, so. It's understandable. Just kick us out through the tree. <sighs> Easy solution. You can say you're submitting us as tribute, and then we just. Well, that would. Sacrifice for the tree. That Sequoia's not here anymore. Yeah, it doesn't really sound. We, we know that, but no one else seems to know. Mm. Just. just so you expect other people to just think I can shove people into bark and make it? <laughs> I mean, you are a chancellor. You realize that's a, like a political type role. It really has nothing to do with how I, what I can shove into trees. Shall we start heading to Bonsai? I think that might be best. Yeah. Um, do we need to go pick up anything back at the Sentinel? I don't think we left much there because it's all been within the same day. Anything you need, Giovanni? Are you coming with us, or are you going to stay here? I mean, technically, I'm not supposed to come with you, but it sounds like I'm not supposed to be here anymore to begin with. What do you want? I could sit here, try to keep messages going, see if we can get started I mean, on if whatever you could other contact... process. Well, we need somebody to do something about the machine, see if we can get it here. So yeah. I guess if you want to stay behind, if Ash isn't rebuilding it, and try and contact Milo and his brother, see if they can get it here. I almost have to stay behind. Uh, like, can you not will... work on it as we go? It's a stationary it's thing. I mean, it's could you work on least... the part that requires the feet here, and then work on everything else on the way? Look, just you place. guys worry about that. I'll talk to Milo and see what we can do about that. Um, and just to make it a little easier for you, wait, that doesn't help. You're... Here, he hands you a scroll. He hands it over to you, Ash. That's a teleportation scroll. Uh, it's going to be a one use, considering you're not uh, well, the same as me. So, But it'll get you all back here. With the tree? No, that, that, that won't exactly work. But if something goes wrong... What would go wrong? Well, there's been a lot that's going wrong, so having a backup plan might not be a bad idea. I yeah. agree. I suppose, even if we go to Bonsai, Milo can't leave Sakura. Mm -hmm. Even if we teleport the machine over, I still would have to work on it to fix it so that it does not cause the same thing that happened to Sakura to happen to Bonsai. So us coming back with Bonsai, he's gonna have to sit there just like in Sequoia being like, hey, thought I'd stop by, check up on the place until I fix the machine. So I like, it doesn't sound like we're going to your village anyway, if it's where the plague is. And if we're finishing the mission, we're going to have to go over that way anyway, eventually. But it's your call. We're going to Bonsai regardless. I 
It just feels like we can't go, and I, I don't know, I just wanted to go home, at least, being here, after fleeing, so. Then, but it just, then do that. Uh, but I, I don't know how it would work, because like I said, Bonsai would have to sit around for me to fix the machine. It. It's a trade. Unless we do it oh, before. Don't yeah, I don't think Bonsai would mind, considering he might grow a bit. Yeah. Obviously. And plus, fixing... we can keep a tree entertained. It's whatever. Obviously, fixing the issue with the trees is important to do as quickly as we can. But I think in this case, taking an extra week isn't going to hurt anyone. And if anything... Ash, I think it's important for you, especially right now, to think about taking care of things in the present so you don't regret them later. We can take all the time we need. If we get the machine over here, I can set it up, work on the... Uh pillars, the magic conductor stopper things, but I probably wouldn't be able to hook anything up or set anything up like that until Bonsai's actually in place. Sounds like I might as well get Bonsai anyway, then. That's what I've been saying. You are very short sighted things. I mean, this could take years for all I know, and that'd be fine. Why does it have to be so fast? I'm going to start heading towards Bonsai. Whoever wants to come, come. Uh, oh, uh, uh, I guess the plan isn't happening then. Here's what are we... For whoever what do wants we, to go ahead. What to do? Do we want to get the machine first, then go get Bonsai? But yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, get the machine, set most of it up, Go get Bonsai, put him in, do it. Instead of being like, yeah, let's go get him. And then he has to wait for me to fix the machine, set it all up. Like, because, like, I don't know how long it would take. So, like, oh, we take a couple days, set up the machine, then go get him. I really think Versus it might take having... longer just... for a tree to walk down a mountain than it would be to do all that. But fair enough. I don't think it really matters what order we do things in. Still got to get done either way. Plus, we probably want to get to Bonsai before he tries to move again. We don't even know if he's for certain on top of the mountain. I don't know. Right. Well, I, I'm, I'm gonna just going to go. Bathroom. You all have a lot of things yeah. to handle, so. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Y'all figure it out. <laughs> Um, above table, just just to make it easier mm -hmm. for roleplay's sake. What I think, so we can easily like you know, it, like in my head, the compromise. What we could do is we could like take a little bit of time to get the thing set up and just say we go. We don't have to necessarily roleplay through the no, potential no. time spent. We would just say I hey. would do my rolls to see if it is done well. I'm assuming, and then that, that's what I'm like. Just that's what I like. I was trying to roleplay it out of like what our plan is because like timeline like it, it it doesn't have to be super quick and like yeah bonds i might take a while to get down here but like we i don't think would walk that much faster we can maybe travel or travel a bit faster than bonsai but like how much time would that really give us it's like we're like hey bonsai come on we're gonna make you a bigger tree are we gonna be like a day ahead of him three days ahead of him like i don't know how i i don't know how slow he would move because he is only 10 feet he's not one of the bigger 200 foot trees that might move at like a snail's pace so like like yes we can go right now ash was suggesting it feels like it makes more sense to like spend the time to set the tree up go get bonsai stop off at ash and wicks home and then head back and then things can converge, set it up, do it. Like, that was, like, the timeline that I was su suggesting. Obviously, 
it doesn't have to be like do 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 do. I know partially like, like above table stuff. my thoughts were since you know obviously Milo is not there to go and get all that stuff of his pride it's easier to do the bonsai thing first just for sake of things mm -hmm. but, but if Milo and, and Ares can send the stuff because they can't leave technically then like I can just be like oh here's this piece do 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 and like just like you know like mm -hmm. There was also the like, idea okay. that they were still, like, working on it and testing it over there still. So, even that much of it might not be done. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe, maybe what we could do is, if, if if that's something you're interested in doing, Maddie, maybe what we do is we, if Alex is going to be down for it, we could do some quick rolls. Just assess the technological well, skill like, or power stuff. Well, like, whether it be, it, like, feasible for you to even set, like, part of the machine up now. And then if well, not, what Alex is saying is that like it might not even be done being tested on. So. Uh, yeah, I think it would probably take more time for it to like be ready, to, be moved and all that in the first place. Plus, I believe there was um some ideas for uh, either Milo or August to uh, siphon power from themselves to help Sakura as well. Mm -hmm. They had indeed yeah. mentioned that. I think yeah. That's yeah. how they were gonna test. Milo was gonna use. Ares' power to test the machine in small doses to see if it's going to backfire or not. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that process itself would take more time, so there's probably not more that could be done with the machine right now. Okay. okay. I just don't know how convincing we're going to be to be like... <laughs> that's my only like thought process, like Maddie's thought process of like, hey, tree, let's go. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, is you know, it going to... Come on. Like, how well are we going to be like... Yeah, and the tree's gonna be like, let's go, you know. So yeah, I don't we'll know. See. Okay, but if I mean, if that's the case, then 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 maybe what we can do then is we can, you know, we can assume that yeah. some of those conversations happen as we make our way through the tunnels and so on, and go hunt down a tree. And go hunt down a tree. Set the plan. Then. Tree. Cool. That feel good. Above table. Feel good. Cool. I'm gonna grab my dinner quick, and I'll be back. But we can re-enter role play just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page it's been a month since no, we've talked, so we're kind of all out, like yeah. we're all frazzled a little bit so i was like yeah. okay anytime think... anyone needs to <laughs> bring something up above table feel free exactly don't want miscommunication happening cool all right i'll mm -hmm. be right back okay Sick. so is anyone else uh prepping anything else before your journey into the mountain um if anyone needs like flashlights or something, I know so that would be the best deal, but we've got magic, so. Oh, yeah, I've got dancing lights. Finally putting my hood back up for once. <laughs> now I gotta hide myself again. Right oh, after oh. revealing. Yeah. Now I gotta put all that back on. Yep, you managed to get yourself concealed similarly as before. Hmm. All right. So you guys gather. You know, some of your resources get what you need. You guys generally pack fairly light anyway. And you've managed to follow where um, Zensu told you to go into the uh, gap in the mountain. You begin. Or they would do that, and then many would probably offer to go fly up to Bonsai first. See if there's any convincing that needs to be done. Is Bonsai like days travel? On foot, probably. Something like that. Okay. So he's actually pretty close then. Yeah, he's just I mean, even on the map stuff, it doesn't look that far. No, he's mm -hmm. really close. Yeah, he's it doesn't look like he's that far away. By flying, if he yeah. you know is there, that seems reasonable. He could be there be in an hour minutes. or two. Yeah. We'll run really fast. <laughs> Full he's sprint gonna, up the mountain. He's just gonna go as quickly as possible again. <laughs> I don't know how Bonza is gonna take to being yoinked, but even if I could convince him, he is movable, as we already know. So if I could get him to start heading down the mountain towards Sequoia, I could save us some time. I'm sure that could definitely help. That's true. Just. If you decide to go ahead, you know, make sure being extra careful, especially with I'll be fine. everything being going on. Don't want to see you getting hurt. I'm fine either way, but 
the group agrees, I'm able to do that easily. Uh, oh, never mind. I was going to offer her a stone, but I don't think she can talk in your wild shape. No, but yeah. she could. She, if nothing else, though, she'll be the one person who's away, though, so it might still be smarter anyway. And then if something happens, she just demorphs, pulls that rock yeah, and yeah, goes, yeah. ah! And then goes back to normal. <laughs> yes. I have many wild shapes, so I'm Gucci. Yeah, take a take a rock then. Alrighty. I guess enjoy your trip through the tunnels, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Alright. Alright. You're safe. Always. All right. Nemini morphs into bird and then heads up to find Bond. Very good. The rest of you, you begin um, moving just outside of the city Sequoia to the edge of the mountain, where there seems to be almost like Aztec-looking ruins around. You see... Oh dotting little bits of the mountain different stone towers poking up around it and different bits that seem to be part of these ruins but the the most notable part is just a big open gate pieced together of many rocks at the entrance to what seems to be a tunnel underneath do you advance so forward I'm assuming that's where we need to go. That is where you were pointed towards. <sighs> you know, the last time we went in a tunnel, it didn't end well. Well, we've managed to get through that since, so. Tunnel as in the worm's throat? I'm talking more or less about the Titan we were inside of, but sure, that works too. I mean, that was a part of the Titan, technically. I mean, worst comes to worst, we find someone who also was captured by some crazy person, rescue them, they join our party, we have a really great time. <laughs> so, sure. I don't know, I think it could be a win-win scenario, personally. I'm going to use my ring to give myself a spell back. All right. I'm going to ignite my sword and walk in. <laughs> okay. I assume the others follow? Indeed. Okay, as you assume, it is rather dark in here. But the first thing you see, scattered across the floor, almost with the light of the sword, casting little glimmers of light all around you, there seems to be shattered mirrors or shining glass of some kind across the floor. Can I investigate it? Yep, go ahead and make me an investigation check. Okay. I'm sure my roll will go just fine. Uh. Yeah, from what you can tell, these mirrors have been broken for not a, like, historically long time, but they've been here a while. Still clean enough to reflect light, however. Weird. Don't seem to be serving any purpose as they are now. Hmm. Why would there be mirrors this far down? That's what I want to know. Maybe someone had a collection they were trying to dispose of. Or was this used for transportation between the mountains and maybe some merchant got unlucky and knocked over a bunch of mirrors? That's a good theory. Does it, did I get like a magical sense from them? Like, were they magic mirrors? Make an arcana check. Bro. You're like, this pretty is bitch's confident fault. that they're just mirrors. <laughs> that one. It'll happen today. I got a five on my arcana. <laughs> yep. He jinxed me before we started the game. Could I get a perception a check from <laughs> Ignatius and Wick? Ooh. Since one of you has goggles, ah. one of you has a bit of 
blind sight going on? I, I can see within five feet of myself yeah, you at can. all times in pure darkness. I, I was going to say, although I rolled a 21, I have advantage on perception, but I also, they're night vision. So. That's what I expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> Wick, you can see these mirrors are not just on the ground in front of you, but there's a bunch of different sections around what seems to be an open hall where some of it's carved. This seems to be what once was an entranceway with many mirrors around it, but now just loose stones and scattered mirrors cover the floor. Some pillars, some broken. And at the very end of this hall seems to be some statues. Two would appear to be statues of giants and several more smaller statues kind of crowding around them. Are they reminiscent of the statues that were guarding the graves? No, they are not. They seem to be, well, at least the larger ones that you can see clearly seem to be Yuanti in nature. Hmm. Rather than primordial. Would I understand if this is like if this is what like I think Ignatius said it like some part of ritual or something like that or who said it maybe I was thinking it I don't know <laughs> you um, make any check you would like, like if you're thinking religion or something feel free it's either religion or history history can um, equally be fitting just like seeing like these statues and then smaller figures and then mirrors by this like specific room like it makes me think that like I don't know it was blocked off by these mirrors as an illusion or like I, I don't know I don't even know what I would as I looked up the Yuanti and I didn't get a lot of information about them so yeah make a history like... or just a raw intelligence check perhaps yeah, intelligence I feel like history's a little chewy Okay. You're looking at what appears to be a mix of old and new. There's the bigger statues, which seem to just be, you know, representing an entrance to the Yuanti home here that has been described as some ruins now. Um, but also, the mirrors seem to be newer. They seem to be something mm -hmm. different entirely. And in fact, you get the sense that there's some sort of mechanisms going on around this area, perhaps around the gate itself, perhaps even traps. Mm. Is the statues the way that we need to go, or is it just like a side room? Yes, it appears to be directly in front of you, straight into the mountain. Okay. Um, I'm just going to be like, I'm like, issue to the guys or whatever like very whispered of like I think these are a part of some sort of trap at the very least they're noise makers so watch where you step and then those statues down there are definitely you auntie so like we might have company I don't know no that's great I don't have like any spells left so it's awesome I have some could whip up, I don't know. In the end, we just have to run. I guess that's caught. fine. Jorak, just mm. remember, be quiet. Don't talk too much. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye out for traps as well. I'm gonna oh. do that. All right. In that case, could you each give me an investigation check as you're keeping an eye out? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Chorik, Chorik, Chorik! Sure, we'll give him a roll. I'm PC like, help. Crits. Mm, look at the intricate designs of these traps. Nice. They look nice. like they're rope tied and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we're on oh, the same no. page. We're all on the same oh, page. No. Yeah. So you're looking around, and Wick, you seem to notice that. Oh. In front of you, one of the loose stones seems to be some sort of pressure plate. 
And if you stepped on this, much like Ignatius is doing right now, something might happen. <laughs> I just go, Ignatius! What? Don't lift your foot. I, which one? Either. <laughs> just don't move. Okay. Ignatius, as um, you stepped, you felt the uh, ground shift slightly beneath you. But that was oh, it. Oh, oh. Um, Interesting. Does anyone have any... Uh, someone help me look for a big rock, not Ignatius. <laughs> <laughs> Can I look for, like, a big rock? Yeah, there's plenty of uh, big rocks falling from different bits of stonework around here. I'm going to, like, push the rock onto the pressure plate and tell Ignatius to, like, move his foot as I do. Which one? <sighs> That no, one. I'm serious. I, just, I don't know which one's the one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. How big is the rock you're choosing? I want to get like a like a decent like bolt like little Real big one, huh? boulder. All right, give me yeah. a strength check. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Not question. gonna be good. Huh? Not okay. Bad. Not bad. You pick it up and you realize your footsteps get a little clumsier as you're walking around with it. As you step, you almost feel the ground shift beneath you. But you're not entirely sure if it was in your mind. <laughs> Rock, take this, take, take this right. for me. He takes the rock. Do you continue to move forward? I, I want to look down to see if it mm -hmm. moved. Yeah, you don't see any immediate signs like the other two you saw. Okay, then I'll get, then I'll move and you'll get to work to help me with the stone for Ignatius. Because I'm noodle arms. Where do you want this? Put it on the ground in front of Iggy's foot, and we're going to push it onto the pressure plate. And as he takes his foot off, he moves it over into the position. Cool. I stand at a good distance back. <laughs> <laughs> Steps onto the pressure plate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good to move on, then. Uh, I think so. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, you should probably lead the way, then. Do you step off sure. the plate? I mean, once the stone's put on, Ignatius would. Yes. All right, can you roll me a dexterity saving throw? <laughs> I most certainly can. <laughs> Just I'm him? Gonna... Just him. One of my many okay. talents. You managed to step off it gently enough that it does not trigger the mechanism. Oh! Wow, that's oh. good. Probably wasn't too bad of a. That's there was well, room for I... failure, but I'm sure. But it was yes. Oh. I was like, fortunately, I'm not that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still a negative, but all right. Then we press on. All right, as you press forward, uh, Wick, could you give me a nature check? <laughs> My specialty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You see where the statues are. There is four more statues kind of before them. Mm. That seem to be um, almost reptilian in nature. On four legs. Like an iguana? Some sort of big lizards. Look about three feet tall. Hmm. These are big lizards. Some chunky looking tails. But they're covered in, like, clay and dust. I'm just not... I'm just gonna not touch them. Look for an exit of this chamber to keep going forward. Alright. As you guys move forward, could you all make me one more dexterity saving throw? As you tiptoe yeah. through. Uh, oh, perfect. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, my expectations are very low with these, so I'm not really surprised by any of the low rolls. <laughs> ah, because I know this area is trapped. Oh, no, I don't think I can use Flash of Genius on myself. No, that's I'm... not upgraded. <laughs> well. <laughs> You're nailing it. I am a stealthy boy. Yeah, Shot in fact. Me. Oh no, it Shot says when I'm very stealthy. <laughs> Flash of Genius says when you or another creature you okay. can see. So I'm going to add four to my roll. <laughs> okay. 15. So, 
immediately, Ignatius, as you move mm -hmm. forward. Um, a few of you can all hear an audible click. And the sound of stone grinding against stone. As something's been triggered here. Mm. Um, you have a brief moment to react before anything happens. What hmm. what looks it, what's moving? You just hear the people? sound. You have a few seconds I mean, to react. I guess Ignatius' first thing is to drop to the ground. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll prepare a shield if if something tries to hit me. Okay. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna hide. Okay. Uh, describe how you're hiding. You have a flaming uh, sword in your hand. Yeah, well, <laughs> I would turn it off. Okay, that's a good start. <laughs> I can't see. I would turn it off, and then I would try to obscure myself in the darkness. And then as soon as you turn it off, the whole cave dims entirely. There is not another source of light in here. Mm. So you are very hidden. Um, not to Wick, of course, because Wick has goggles that see in the dark. But, Wick, could you... Give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> I that's going to help me with this? I don't think so. Uh, no, okay. Oh, I go. I don't know if, uh, nope. Shouldn't have said that. Are you able to flash your I genius? It. <laughs> I only have one left. Uh... Up to you. What's your uh, plus on Flash of Genius? Four. Up to you. No, I'm not going to. Okay, the DC was a 12 to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a chance. Fine. So did, immediately. I, want, I didn't want, I want to save it for you guys. <laughs> Very nice. So as the click happens, the light goes out in the room as Mitch, you know, turns off the fire upon his sword. Ignatius, you don't quite know what's happening, but you feel the ground shifting. Wick, you're the only one who sees as a large vertical mirror begins to swing down slowly like a pendulum in front of the open hallway. Oh, God. And in the reflection of the mirror, you see the four reptilian creatures that were looking towards you. They, their heads seem to be uncovered, and their eyes glare at you with the passing of the mirror. Oh, no. <laughs> at that moment, your body begins to stiffen up. <laughs> and you begin to feel restrained. Uh-oh. ruh -ro. It's Medusa-like in here. Ignatius, you feel a sudden shift in how Wick is carrying herself. Oh, like through the ground? Yes. Because it is pretty much blind in here. So yep. I can, I've got like a vague sense, but not quite. Yeah, you, you sense something's going on with Wick. Wick, are you okay? I will give you that with your ability. Ash, are you okay? You're unable to speak. I'm able to speak? No, Wick is. Oh, yeah. gotcha. That's fair. She's not saying anything, Rex. Can I, We're like... Not <laughs> oh, God. No, but I also... I I, well, actually, I wouldn't notice. I can't see anything. It's pitch black in here. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> oh my goggles! <laughs> All you hear is the loud sound of swinging metal. I hear oh. something above me. I don't think I should stand up. Truck, are you okay? Is that a sword? <gasps> oh, this sucks so much because I know Let exactly how to okay. get rid of it, too. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, Chork's fine. <laughs> All right, now let's roll an intelligence check to see if Chork knows what's going on here. <laughs> Chork should have a flash of genius moment. Yeah. There's basilisks in the mirror. Oh. What? Not the basilisks. There's a mirror and basilisks? I think they got wick. <laughs> okay. The hell is a basilisk? Do you know what we gotta do? I got blindfold myself. One second. Rex, can you make me a nature check? 
Uh, no. <laughs> Chang, no, I have no idea what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Reasonable response. You ain't That's never not heard in my realm. Nope. Not in my realm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ignatius, I'm gonna put a blindfold. Ignatius just is, is rolling around as he, like, is on the ground, and he <laughs> rips off part of his tunic, and he starts to wrap cloth around his eyes. Okay. He makes a makeshift blindfold. Can't tell if it's on securely or not, though, because it's dark. Fair. <laughs> I mean, you can't really see if a. Oh. True. Either way, you feel a blindfold around your eyes. Cool. Wick. You can feel your fingertips begin to harden. Mm. You lose sensation in your toes. Could you make me another constitution saving throw? And I will say, technically, you're allowed to use Flash of Genius here if you choose. I know the DC now, so... Mm -hmm. It's too much fun to say it, I had to tell you. <laughs> uh. Yes, you manage to slowly kind of regain your composure and realize what's going on. Yeah, just, like, move my joints and stuff. Just yeah. try and, like, break off the stony... And you're able to resist the effect, but the mirror is still oh. swinging before you. Probably 50 to 100 feet towards the end of the hall. Towards the statues or away from where we came from? It is swinging at the um, away from you from where you came from. Where you mean to be going 150 through. feet? Um, no. Let's see. I can get an exact measurement for you if I go over to this map. If it lets me, that oh, is. <laughs> it is, let's just call it 75 feet for now. Between 50 and 100. Seventy-five feet? Yep. Can I walk now that I am not lo no longer a thing? You can. Is anyone else doing anything? <laughs> I'm done. Is it sitting confused? <laughs> now that I'm blindfolded, I'm just gonna attempt to uh, get myself out of a position on the ground where the mirror is not above me anymore, so I can stand up. Okay. Yeah, the mirror doesn't seem to swing around you. It's towards the end of the hall. Yeah. So like we so. came to a hall to where like an altar was, and at the other end of the hall, the mirror came down. Ah. We saw the mirror in the hallway and went. Ugh. That's fair. Well, to be fair, Ignatius wouldn't even know that at all. Still, yeah, <laughs> because because yeah. he can't see yeah. that far. Because the well. basilisk, basilisk, if that's what they are, yes. the lizards were looking at us. So then, when we looked in the mirror, yeah, it like yeah. reflected. I'd be vaguely aware of it, but mm. I guess I'd probably honestly make my way toward the uh, the mirror then, from where we're at. Okay. Can I get within 60 feet of the mirror? Yes, you can. Cool. I am going to uh, uh, point at the mirror. Actually, hmm. uh, da, 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 sorry. Stone, crystal, or metal? But I know if a mirror is first i'd say that fits okay i want to uh take one of like a nail or a screw or something and i want to use my hammer and i want to magically imbue the nail and i want to hammer it down the hallway uh doing so i want to cast shatter okay uh, 60 feet, a point of your choice within range. I can put it in the chat, actually. Ah, uh, no, put it in the chat. Very good. Uh, the mirror has to make a con save, if, but if it's crystal, it does it with disadvantage. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like a shatter spell is going to break this thing real easy. Don't you worry. However, you do have to look at it to do that. So if you could just throw me, like, one more constitution saving throw before that all occurs, that'd be great. Cool. Get 
close cancel close that Ugh. cool okay so suddenly ignatius you feel the sensation of glass and crystal striking the ground ahead of you you hear the sound of a mirror breaking rex and they also hear a, a loud ringing noise yes a loud boom and the ring is all that's left over. The hell is happening in here? <laughs> Ignatius, you then... <sighs> you then feel the uh, sensation of footprints. Okay. Um, at that point, then, I guess... Um, I would probably kneel on the ground. Can I feel the footprints at all? Sense Sorry, you you feel um something else in the room so, stepping so, okay. around. That kind gotcha. Of I wasn't sure if it was like physical yes. indentations in the ground sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who's there? What's there? Wick, you can see as the reptilian statues that were there have now had the clay shattered off of them. Basilisk. And now begin to roam freely. So, with that, with one of you blinding yourself, the other completely in the dark, and one uh, with night vision goggles, I suppose it's time for us to roll initiative. Perfect. Yay, and I'm still hurt slightly. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't forget to look your icon first, guys. So yep. I forget sometimes. Turn order. There we go. Making sure all the uh, what's stuff happening. on the update is like, yeah, Rex, you are in the dark. Yeah. What the hell's happening? Very literally here? speaking. <laughs> what's going all on? Right. However, um, you can roll damage for that shatter wick, and it will impact how this begins. Ah. Okay. You initiated uh, initiative. Good job. <clears throat> sorry. No, it's okay. No, I, I meant it's like a. At least if you had to do it, you were the one to start the fight as compared to them starting the fight. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, 17 I wanted to damage. shatter the mirror. The mirror is like, very it's... shattered. However, they yeah, can now wanted... turn and look towards you, so. Uh, yeah. I wanted to shatter it because I was like, oh, I don't want anyone else looking in it, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. yes, I'm like, they're... oh, that's what other people have done. That's why there's glass all over the floors because people shattered it. Oh. Uh. I will say, since you are the only one with correct vision here, you do have the chance to see them all um, turning around and wandering towards you and can react okay. based on then that as your turn begins now. Hey, okay. I am going to say uh, quickly, uh, do I know they're basilisks? Um, let's see. To be fair, Chork just mentioned it. Chork so. did say it out loud. Make an oh, intelligence okay. check to see how much you know about them. Uh, flat intelligence? Yeah. Warm. Yeah. They, they they look at you, and your body turns to stone. Unless you're particularly yep. strong-willed. So I will just call out... Sorry about that. I didn't think that was going to start a fight. But I didn't really feel like being stone anymore. Uh, uh, we got company... Don't look at them, and I will cast Dancing Lights so we can all see. Well, I'm already on it. I blindfolded myself. Take the blindfold off. No, I can see better with it on. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Actually, that's true. <laughs> um, yes, so no, technically uh, speaking, for anyone who's curious, this is this is the actual... Do I have? Oh, it's an oh, action. Thing. Okay. Where is it? Hold on. There it is. Is Dancing Lights a bonus this action? This is what it is. I think it's an action. Yeah. It's not technically. This is how Ignatius interprets yeah. it, though. Yes. His fighting style he chose is blind fighting. And, of course, to uh, flavor it correctly, he, f he feels all the tremors in the earth for being an earth genasi. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But see, it's fun, because technically speaking, it's like, yes, when he's actually blinded, he kind of sees better. Sort of. But technically, if you think about it, when he puts a blindfold on, everything becomes behind total cover. So I like to think that he thinks he can see. But really, <laughs> he doesn't. In the same way. You just see everything differently. Exactly. He, he's seeing it like a person w who um, needs to use Braille to read can see. Mm -hmm. I put up Dancing Lights because I want 
people who want to know where they're going and can't feel oh, the car. That's very fair. That's literally yeah. everyone else. So you're good. I'm sure Troy. What are these are blue thinking. arrows? Is that where the mirror was? Yes, that's where the mirror was swinging back and forth. But it has now been shattered. So this is where we came in from then? No, that's where you are going towards. Oh, okay. Yes, there was a big swinging mirror there. The basilisks were positioned in stone by an earthen grasp to look towards the mirror. So anyone mm. walking in would have to look at the mirror and risk being I turned understand. to stone. Turned to stone. Son of a... And in this Wanty. situation, only one of you could see that far, so... Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, each of these lovely little creatures is going to uh, come this way. And how far can they move? Oh, so far. Not very far at all. Um, they will move towards you guys. And let's see. So, Wick. Am I still technically hidden? Or does the dancing lights reveal where I am? You are revealed as far as darkness goes, but make a stealth check to see how, how well you actually hid yourself. With okay. disadvantage, since you were trying to hide in the dark that you didn't see either. Okay. And it's a completely uh, different shadowscape here now. 14. Apologies. I thought that would hope. <laughs> now I can see what's happening. Um, they do not see you. Hey. Okay. I'm so, still hidden. <laughs> um, they are going to... Let's see. One of them is going to gaze towards Chorik. Longingly. Yep. So Chork needs to roll. He will do so. I think he has an actual good constitution, so I better pull his sheet up. For I also forget Chork exists. I can never forget Chork exists. Mm -hmm. He is my love, my life. Okay, Chork. My lom. <laughs> begins to <laughs> stiffen up. No. As. These three basilisks are going to dash to arrive here and here. Gosh, I see this a reaction. And here. However, dash was their action. They cannot do anything else to you this turn. Flash of genius is a reaction. Yes. Okay. Do I use it now? I feel bad. I don't want to repcon anything. I'll say save it then. Okay. He still has another save that I, you can choose to do it on that's true, that's later. True, that's true. Um, but, Rex, it is your turn. Okay. Well, since these things can't see me, and I still don't really know what the heck they do, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to move. I did say don't look at them. Yeah, yes. I did hear that. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here. Just to be a little a little way. <laughs> sure. Uh and then I am going to toll the dead the one at Chork. Very good. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw, and they uh, seem to have awful wisdom. Thirteen oh, that was just fails one. to the fourteen. <laughs> All right, taking. That was, the, that was the more wise one among them, and you just yeah. Took it out. I got a little lucky on that one. And it does take the full two d twelve, considering it is weakened by the shatter. <laughs> so you deal nearly max damage to it <laughs> with your Damn. toll the dead. Very oh, yeah. nice. Oh, did it? And, also and, I'm, and I'm sure I'm revealed now from <laughs> my stealth ways. Yes. With a loud ringing sensation. <gasps> Wait, did the basilisk also take damage? Yes. They took shadow damage. Because they were in a 10 foot radius. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Also, kind of freeing the stone that was binding them into place, but you know. It's... It is what it is. To probably, <laughs> had to probably deal with eventually anyway. Exactly. Ah. Um, let's see. Next up is Chorik. Okay. Um, he is going to try to resist. 
Uh, yeah. He does succeed resisting. And will now... Yeah, I think that happens at the end of his turn. Okay, so Ignatius, you're up. You feel Huzzah. one approach immediately in front of you, and one close by to the left. Perfect. Then I, you know, with my senses, I feel the one coming up to me closer, so I'm going to go for that one first. Yep. I'm starting to attempt to hit it with my pick of prospecting. Yes, your blind fighting lets you hit it without any sort of disadvantage whatsoever. Cool. And I believe... That is a miss. Unfortunate. You're still able to squirm out of the way of your hit. But you have two attacks. Indeed I do. So I shall go, aha, and do it the second time. Mm -hmm. This time you swing your uh, pickaxe and it bites deeper into this thing's scales. Dealing 11 piercing damage as it shrieks out. Unexpecting to receive such damage. Ha! Ah. Okay. Next up, uh, is that the end of your turn? Yes. Nothing else I want to do. That turn. You're back, Wick. Um, I am going to summon my cannon. And I'm Pew. Gonna, uh, I want a 15 foot cone because I want to do the fire one. Uh, where is? Oh god, I don't know. Where's the ruler? Measure cone. Oh, that new cone thing is so cool. Mm. Looks nice. I want to put well. it where I can get both of them. Um, I don't know if I can. Maybe uh -oh. I can get both of these guys? Because I can put it anywhere within 60 feet of me. Oh, that would hit Ignatius. <laughs> Body Ignatius. <laughs> <laughs> when the first one I got burned by a party member. Yeah. True. Everyone's got to get their shot <laughs> at you. <laughs> I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it here. Okay. And I guess I'll, I'll just take out the one that's like right in front of me. Sure. Potentially. I don't know if that's going to actually... Yeah. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, flamethrower! Flamethrower! <laughs> All right, uh, dexterity save. It fails, taking full 14 points of fire damage from your Eldritch Cannon. And then is Firebolt in action? Yes, it is. Um, I don't have any bonus actions prepared, I don't think. No, I don't. Okay, so I guess... um. I can't disengage. Can I, like, as like a bonus action, can do, can I determine what this thing is right here? Um, yeah, it just seems to be another sort of mirror apparatus of some kind. This one more so covered in dust and stuff doesn't seem to be reflecting anything but, well, now that the uh, fire is out, or actually the dancing lights, it seems to be reflecting different bits of them. Okay. Um, I'll point out. Don't look at this mirror either. Behind me. Just don't look behind you guys. <laughs> don't look in front of you. Don't look behind you. Yeah. Look at your mind. Me after I launch a spell, just. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, no. I cannot move. So. Okay. So, let's go over here. Um, Chorik is going to be chomped at. <clears throat> and oh, his yeah. new armor He's... manages to help him resist oh. the bite. Yeah! Hey. Ignatius, you are suffering the same fate. 18. Does that hit? It does not hit. Excellent. Wick, a little chomp towards you. does not hit. Excellent. And the basilisk in the back is going to still try to petrify Wick, given whatever opportunity it can. But you can make your save at advantage because okay. you're trying to actively avoid it. Con? 
Yep, con save. Oh, man. So, I believe you still have that one flash of genius if you choose to use it, but up to you. Yeah, I will. Okay. You manage to save, and it the whole bast army of basilisks fails every task they set themselves out to. <laughs> Rex, your turn. Poor guys. Yay. They're just doing uh, their job, and we came in and messed them up. Uh, I don't really have many options. Uh, I'm going to continue to move. Okay. I'm here. Uh, and I'm going to do, again, Toll the Dead to the one near Chorik. Uh, boom. Fancy 10. All right. Wisdom save. <laughs> nope, no damage. Get out of here. Mm. That's the Scott Wise on you from last I know, time. so wise. Mm -hmm. Rolled a natural 20 and a natural 1, or both with negative 1. Damn. That's wild. Yeah, fun rolls uh, today. It's Anyth Mitch's fault. Yep. You're welcome. Anything else from Rex? No, nope, that's, that's all I got. All right. Chorik, now able to uh, act once again is going to take two swings towards the basilisk in front of him. Do it, my boy. And the second one hits for six slashing damage. And the basilisk is looking quite injured. Sick. Mm -hmm. Next up, Ignatius. Indeed, let us do the same. We shall do attempt to hit twice with my pick. That's a hit. Is going That's to a to hit. Find schmited. So I'm going to add that in. Ooh. Yep. Eight extra radiant damage. That'd be 16 plus 9, 25. It had 24 health remaining. It is defeated. Nice. Good choice of Divine Smite. Ignatius knows what's up, you know. He mm -hmm. sensed it. Very good. He just the end of oh! he's, he's very triumphant. He's back in battle mode. He hasn't felt this way in a little while. He's excited. Cool. But yeah, he's good. Okay. Next up, Wick. Uh, I'm going to move my cannon to here, I think. And I should be able to get both of those guys. Absolutely, in that stealth. position. So I'm going to flamethrower them again. Whap. <laughs> All right, their fantastic deck saves come into play. Left to right. They both fail anyway for mm. three three damage. I know. Yeah, the dice don't <laughs> always give us big numbers. Does it seem like the fire is, like, taking? It does seem like it's doing, you know, as much as you would expect. Cool. I'm going to then firebolt the one that tried to turn me, which I think was this one. Okay. Firebolt. Not through my slingshot. Uh, you definitely hit it. Um, for another eight damage. Heck yeah. But as you're firing at it, it takes the opportunity to try to get you once more. Well, shit. So it's gonna go ahead and try to hit you with the gaze. Give me a nice little constitution save. Bingo! Yeah! <laughs> nice. I duh. Merrily avoided. I hate this. All right. Uh, the other one's going to still chomp at you because it just got fired up twice. For 14. Nope. nope. Ooh, and sense. one goes for Chork. I got that half plate, baby. Mm, the bites seem to all be ineffective against your superior armor. Rex, you move. Are we all in like some sort of plate? <laughs> I think yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're anemone has some sort of metal yeah. armor. Right? Yeah, I have, I have mail. <laughs> but she just has a health pool of a thousand pretty yeah. much, yeah. so yeah. she never has to worry. I turn to uh. bear. I turn to bear again. I turn to yeah. triple bear. I become I the biggest to, bear. I, tur I turn to mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> so Rex. Right. Mammoth. Continue the same thing. Told him dead. Okay. Oh, no, the closest target to you? Here. Yeah, the one near Chirac. All right. Wisdom save. 
It makes a dead Is that a sound. cantrip? It sure yeah. is. Why the, why the heck don't my cantrip? <laughs> well, you well, see, you get cantrips. What is it, Zach? Yeah, he, he gets two because he's a higher level. Um, it's Toll the Dead, so it's really good against targets that are already hurt, making it a D12. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, Mitch is rolling really well on damage today. So. That's true. He can easily get two damage with that, much like you can get three with your fire thing. But he's been getting seventeens <laughs> and eighteens instead. So oh, yeah, also the the fire bolt did like eight damage, so it was a three and a five. But I I didn't know if it was rolling with two or not. Yep, like at your that. um guys level as casters, it is rolling two, just like Ignatius can get two attacks. Mm -hmm. Except True. his stat bonuses stack on both if he hits. That is correct. All right, next up is Chorik. All right, Chorik, you got this. He's gonna... I think he's gonna try to just, like, keep himself barely looking at him. So he's gonna be swinging at disadvantage. But he doesn't want to get petrified out here. So... Fair choice. He's, like, looking away as he's swinging towards this basilisk that just got burned. So, two swings. And... Not wow. bad for He hits both yeah. at disadvantage. Wow. Fantastic. That one smells like charcoal. That's how he could hit it. He smells, <laughs> he, he smells it. <laughs> the senses for charred meat come into play. Mm -hmm. And the one in Just front of him is now angry. looking like it's in really rough shape. Ooh, heck yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. Ignatius. Yep. All right. So now that I've got that one, I'm going to just move on to the one that Trork's yep. currently going after. Down the line. We're going to attempt to hit him with my pickaxe. Doesn't have to work, so I will hit him again. Yeah. That Ooh. failed. <gasps> Dramatically. Hopefully. You and Chork were swinging at it at almost the same time. It's just Chork just kept hitting it away from where your pickaxe was going to land. It's very fair. Chork. Ah. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get it. Well, we can get it at the same time. Clearly not. Just kill it. <laughs> Speaking of which, Wick. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, uh. uh, I have to move my cannon again because Chork moved up. I yep. I think you can angle it just fine. Mm. 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 I'll say technically you can angle it to hit those two targets because. Like oh, that? there you go. Yeah, even like that. Nice. Okay. And um. Because it goes on a block by block thing, but technically it's a 360 radius, so. Hmm. Makes color. sense. Mwah. Ooh, will its deck save matter? It does matter, mm -hmm. but it fails anyway, so. <laughs> Damn. Six. Another one bites the dust. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Now. One basilisk remains. Ah! I still have an action. I'm gonna firebolt it. Uh, mm, it's too close. Uh, smack it. Smack it in the face. <laughs> I don't. Punch it. Open hand palm strike. Staring it. contest. Have... Let's go. <laughs> I, have a I have a dagger. Can I, like, Growl pull a dagger really out of my, intense. like, sure. die holster and also, stab you can it? Do that. All smack right. You, uh, you fail. Smack but that. Smack that. At least you got to use the dagger. You just hear the, yeah. the dagger just like snap. Just it just Spunk scrapes contact. against the basilisk carapace a, on a little bit. On a one, I would have expected it to snap. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. take this. It just away seems from that me. you haven't sharpened it in a while, and it isn't quite able to puncture through. Yeah, she's been relying too much on her cannon. She's not getting using her knife. It's underused. Cannon does more damage. So. I mean, it's fair. I'm sure there's probably been many times where she's like, you know, you probably should sharpen wow. that. And she's like, well, my, I don't need to. My dagger that does match max six damage. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hype. Hey, you could crit. True. <laughs> 10 damage. Oh. All right. <laughs> this thing is, in its last throw, is going to try desperately to get Wick to turn to stone. It just wants to keep trying. So, con save. wants to keep you as a stone pet. Do I have a plus one because Iggy's near me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Good point. Thank you for remembering. Am I in with 10? Is it 10 feet or... Ooh, I think it might be ten uh, feet actually. Let me find. Because I don't it. know. If I am. Yeah, within ten. F well, no, that's that's one initiative they're protection. They're yeah, ten feet. feet. Yes, it's correct. So no. Yeah. Oh. Tork would get it, but you. Would. Oh. <laughs> All right. There it is. Oh, gosh. 
To be fair, yeah, it would have it would it yeah, wouldn't have put you over. Happened. It wouldn't have put you okay. over anyway. It would only no, yeah, it wouldn't have helped. Yeah. Not on a Crafail. Yeah. All right. Imagine the cast not using women. <laughs> Rex, your turn. Uh, totally dead. <laughs> totally dead. <laughs> It's all I got. So many right bells now. just going gong, gong, gong. All right, it's all I got. Ding. Four. Okay. Ding. Okay. <laughs> Survives. But there it is. <laughs> See, that's what happened. That's the other side of what Rex can that's do true. with his cantrip. Yep. Also, earlier he made an attack that just didn't do anything. <laughs> but that is Rex time. That is I free. So. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, Chorik is going to run at this thing. Get that glory. Um, yeah, just trying to go for the glory here. Uh, no disadvantage, just swinging. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh my, my boy. goodness! My oh, boy. boy, my oh, boy. Oh, oh, what is day. up with that? My seven, dude. Seven, seven, seven. Someone play the lottery. That's the, the one only in 8, number. Thousand chance. That's a one in eight thousand wow. chance. Lovely. That's insane. <laughs> Well, it's, you know, seven, it, should, it should count seven, for something. Even seven, though it's seven. technically two really horrible fails, you know, he did get the holy number. Make eyes! So, therefore, you know, <laughs> maybe Dork just ascends immediately right now to, I guess that's to God Orc. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. You need to go buy a lottery ticket tonight, I think. Yeah, just all well, seven. I'm going to lose! With, <laughs> I'm going to lose so bad! Not with that look. I want to buy a lottery ticket. Next thing I know, they're taking money from me. <laughs> but you're giving it to somebody else. Which is else. how the lottery works, I suppose. But yes, Someone it's true. Someone screenshot it that's or clip it. Wow. So funny. I love this. It's amazing. Holy that is incredible. Holy. Yeah, Chork swings down on this thing, and it just grazes off the side of it for a moment, swings into the uh, stone beneath it, and the pickaxe just shatters on the ground, breaking no. into a bunch of different Chork's chunks. weapon. He just got new armor. Now he's going to need a new weapon. Yep. Good thing he's got a sugar daddy. And that's the end of his turn. Ignatius, you I thought you, were gonna, I thought you were gonna say that's the end of the episode. See you guys later. <laughs> that roll? <laughs> oh gosh. No, right. no, with Kato's comment. No, no, no. <laughs> sugar daddy. Well, that's the end of that. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right fine, Tori. If you're not gonna do it, then I'm gonna do it. I'll do oh, two attacks. Easy. The man's it, ego is probably just as shattered as his pickaxes, okay? <laughs> yeah. Indeed, he tried to go in for the glory, but instead, Ignatius steals it again. One in 360,000? No, oh, yeah, it is 300. No, yeah. Wait. Well, to get the no, both fails, I would say also the fails, double fails, plus the double um, disadvantage fails, too, would be also pretty significant. Yeah, because it's uh, one in 20, which is the first roll. Same chance. Got to ignore, and then it's, yeah, it's... It's, it's a low chance, guys. It's a, there's it's a, a probability chance. equation you could do, but it's been a long time since I've done probability Jesus. in math. There's also theory yeah, he's like dead. what it represents properly or not. And, but, All right. Yeah. Woo. You uh, managed to slay the last of the basilisks. <sighs> oh, Wait, can you make one last constitution saving throw? <laughs> but you want to know one thing. Remember... In order to yeah. attack this basilisk, I had to be next to it. So yeah, so you do have that plus one, and you managed no, to struggle. No, it's plus go. three. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, it's plus I got, three. It's ah. My modifier, because it, because the way oh, it, it's, okay. yeah, because it works like a yeah. It's it's a saving throw equal to my charisma. Actually, so plus okay. two really because it's a minimum of one, mm. and so I have two to my modifier, so it'd be a plus two. Okay. Mm. Gotcha. But yeah, you managed to shrug that off. 19. And nobody turns to stone. Thank goodness. I'm just gonna like crack fingers. Yeah, you still I feel no... real stiff. Do <laughs> any of us take any damage during that whole entire fight either? No. I didn't. No, I didn't. No. No. Every single bite failed. Yeah. That was a very successful encounter, y'all. I'm just still hurt from earlier. <laughs> yeah, there was very oh, little spell it, slots yeah. used. Actually, I think no spell slots used outside of the shatter that initiated. Yeah. Yeah. So true. So, well done. <laughs> All right. Well, that was um, certainly an experience. I'm sorry. I didn't know Shattering the Mirror was going to turn them on us, but I also didn't want the mirror to still be up in case you guys looked at it because I almost was stone. 
because of the mirror. That so, is very So fair. these things turn you into stone? Yeah. Can they still do it while they're dead? No, but their blood is, like, could probably be harvested for something. Like, some sort of potion or whatever. I have been wanting to work on alchemy, so I someone, mean, maybe if Ignatius nothing else, can help me. It might be nice to sell, so... I, I mean, yes. I'm down to try and help you harvest these. Yeah, okay. I was also thinking about harvesting these things as well. That's why I asked. Yay! <laughs> well, harvest party! <laughs> I was Chork sit down and try to put his pickaxe back together <laughs> while you guys are harvesting? I don't have anything to fix it. Oh, no. Yeah, your mending wouldn't be the able to fix something that big. I don't have mending. I had cure wounds the to The artificer who uh, doesn't have mending. Oh, yikes. I wanted damage cantrips. <laughs> I, do I get more cantrips? Hold on. Mm. Uh, I get more. I get another cantrip at level ten. Hey, <laughs> Ooh, hey, we got, hey, we'll that's get a little that. while from now. Yeah, I'll be next episode. You'll have it. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll fight the big bad. Get three <laughs> levels. Yeah, three levels. Yeah. Do we level? Do we level? We find out the tree is the villain the whole time. Fight Sequoia. Next episode. Tune in. So I stole that parts of the kit from the apothecary tower on Fulminox. Mm -hmm. I would like to take some of the vials and harvest some of the blood, potentially. Yeah. yeah. There seem to be plenty of basilisk blood available. Cool. I shall How many vials you. can I get? Um, let's see how effective you are at harvesting. Give me a medicine check. With Ignatius. Yeah, can I help her, a sister, to? I think that's on saves, advantage. not checks. No, like he he's helping oh, me yes. with, yeah. the, with the, the help harvesting. Action. Uh sure. So advantage. Oh. <gasps> mhm. Mm yeah, you go to uh, extract blood from one of these basilisks. You do it completely. You go to uh, put it into the vial, and you drop the vial. Ignatius catches it. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> but mid catch, he shatters it because he grabs but it. It's, yeah, your fingers kind of <laughs> still feeling a little stiff after the events. Yeah, I'll just like, uh, thank you. Of course. Glad do the that. eyes still do anything? Or is it only the blood? Would you like to check? Yes. I really don't know How do you check? Okay. It's physiology, so I wouldn't really know. Uh, I guess I just stare at it. <laughs> as stupid as that may sound for science. Okay, make me a constitution saving throw. Okay, so they still work. Uh, I was curious. I'm just saying make a constitution saving throw. All right, all right. <clears throat> they don't seem to be working. Okay. Just I'm gonna take the eyeballs the out anyways. Sure. <laughs> make a medicine check to uh, pry out eyeballs without popping the jelly bag. Okay. You asked for help? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Twelve. Yeah, you managed to get a handful of basilisk guys. Yay. Ooh. It's like caviar for the <laughs> rich dragonborns. Yeah. If you want to go through oh. gathering from all of them, you get six basilisk guys. Hooray! I have six eyeballs in my pocket. <laughs> yep. Wait, how many, how many did you say I collected? Uh, four vials of blood. Very good. Well, you can change your cantrip at the SI levels. Uh, I look through my bag. Uh, I have a light crossbow. I have a crowbar. <laughs> uh, and I've got a dagger. You can have all of them if you'd like. <laughs> Guess I could take the crowbar. Just the crowbar? Probably. Okay. Just holds it, swings it around like a club for a moment. <laughs> It'll do for now. I'll get you something better. I could probably, to... if we short rest, 
or if we if we sit down for a minute, I could probably add some stuff to it. I've got some spare metal. Sure. Okay. You guys take a uh, short rest. Yes. All right, Mitch. Would you like to spend any hit dice to uh? Um. <laughs> and I'll I'll do one. Wounded since the morning, really. So. Yeah, I'll do one. I'll do one hit dice. All right. And Wick, what are you trying to do? Helps a lot. Yeah. Um, if I can take the crowbar because yeah. it's it's ho hooked. Maybe I can make like a bayonet with it and like attach the dagger and like maybe some extra yeah, metal just... to like make like make like a, a mace so like have like spiky uh, the spiky ball part but then also mm -hmm. have like like maybe a dagger on like the bottom half or something so you can like dual wield it or something. Okay. So I'll say that can certainly improve the weapon. Make a sounds like. Do you have the ability to do any smithing right now? Um, I think you have a special tool trick. I have. I have magical tinkering. Uh, I know that make I can make tools. I can write full tool for the job. That's you can what learn I'm how to produce of. exactly the tool you need. With thieves tools or artisan tools in hand, you can magically create one set of artisan tools in an unoccupied space within five feet of you. It's an hour of uninterrupted mm. work. So we'd need to take like a two hour short rest to do that. Okay. So say you can do something kind of makeshift otherwise. Yeah, like I have my tinkerer's tool and I can probably like- Yeah, use that'll be enough fire tools to do something. Bolt. Yeah. Uh, when we go for bed, I can spend a little bit more time. If, if we have, if whenever we go to bed, I can like sit down and make a better tool for you. But this is what I have. Like the crowbar with the dagger is like the first <laughs> draft. Roped onto it. Yeah. I can melt it. I have some metal and like I could maybe use like fire bolt or something to like <laughs> melt it. I don't know. Okay. Make me a uh, tinker's oh. check to see how uh, effectively you bond this metal oh, i have heat metal but it's not prepared um tinker's check yep. seems to be pretty effective basically what you expected out of it pointy oh. end blunt end there you go sick thank you yeah of course um... where else should we get going I Probably. So. Gotta make sure to catch up with an enemy on the other side of this whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. To more basilisks. Do you all walk through the doorway over the shattered mirror? Uh. See. Yeah. That's, that's the way forward. Yeah. All right. You make your way into the uh, tunnels of the Yuan-Ti ruins. And I think that's where we're going to end the session. Oh, a little short one today. But there's uh, some cool stuff happening. Some cool setup. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens next time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. Wow. So, you guys level up. Yay! Oh, oh. my god. All right. Yes. Levels. We get a combat once in the blue moon, and when we get that one combat, it's like, okay, you're good <laughs> now. I thought about leveling you up last time. It just felt kind of weird after only Mitch was really fighting the whole time. That's fair. So. A fight for so my life. Is is what Mark said true? I can change a cantrip at ASI levels. I believe you can replace one at level eight. Something along those lines. And if not, I'll uh, allow it anyway. If you have a cantrip that you decide you're not really using to any benefit, yeah, you can switch it. That's fine. By this me. is the thing. The one that I'm not using is the one that comes with my class feature. Yeah, okay. The you can't really change cannon. that one. Yeah. So. Oh, and that's not an actual cantrip. I think we just put it there to. 
you know, represent that it's not a spell slot. Oh, how many cantrips do I get then? Hold on. Yeah, you might have. It's probably like three or something at least. Cantrips Ninth known, four. eighth level, two. Oh. No. Artificers, good old half casters, everybody. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, not, it's just an ASI for me. Yeah, it's going to be a, for a lot of people. but. So I could take an ASI or I can take a feat. Mm hmm. Any fun you feet can... ideas? Um, I had them written down. Uh, Mage Slayer, Warcaster, or Spell Sniper, but I also kind of want to max out my intelligence modifier. Ooh, is, maybe there, the... is there any feats that give you like a plus one intelligence? I guess you have pl other stats you'd like to. I have a plus well. one intelligence from uh, Fey Touched, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. So I don't know if they would stack. Yeah, increase your intelligent wisdom or charisma score by one. Yeah, if you got another feat that increased you by one, obviously it would stack on top of that. But I actually, I think I did one on wisdom. I am nineteen int, yeah. So I kind of want to max yeah. it. Or yeah, and then at twelve I can take another feat. Yeah, so you could bump that up, and then really you have a lot. <laughs> Every one of your stats is an odd number, so you could put put it the other number in effectively anywhere. That's true. I could up my con and get more health. That would be the uh, wouldn't, the gamer thing to do. Does upping my con then up it for... Will it do it automatically if I just, like, type in... Probably. <laughs> if, you put, if you're using the character mm -hmm. manager, it'll just give you what it's supposed to give you. And then, obviously, as you level up here, it I will don't, give you credit I think for I've that. been doing it manually because Artificer doesn't... Oh, yeah, isn't true. In the, we had to like manually input everything mm. because of the books. Or right. Uh, I don't think so, it does the con like health bonus retroactively, but it will start, you know, when you roll your health, just, you know, you'll have the extra con point at then. Right. Let me look it up. All right. Anyone else know what they're getting? Imagine which uh, gets more spell slots. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, not new Yay, levels let's, of spells. Let's lots, roll but... for health. Yeah, that's always yeah. fun. I rolled one less than average. Big yep. Let's see. I took a chance. Oh my god! Thank oh. you. Oh. <laughs> Skinny boy, just from off. the gods. He needed it. Nice. <laughs> Damn. It does. It does. Retroactive. A okay. change in con is always applied retroactively to HP up or down. It changes the, your max HP. If your constitution modifier changes, your hit point maximum changes as well as though you had the new modifier from first level. So Okay, yeah, that's I would, an extra eight hit points then on top of that all. So I roll for the initial level, mm -hmm. and then I would add eight to it. Okay, right. let me roll a dice, and then plus eight. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. What is that? That's 12? Oh, 14 in total. Six, Six plus, eight. plus eight. Yeah, 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm at 62. There we oh. go. Got some tanks in That's the group. That's crazy. And I'll help Kayla level up later as well. All right. Okay. Any other cool abilities coming to the table? Imagine a lot of it's just more spell slots, more... Stats. Uh, stats. I always look to see if there's any feats that tickle my fancy at the time. But yeah, some interesting in my stuff head. coming up. I'm curious to try out. Yeah. Okay. From my coming up, I've got stuff. From but... my trick or me domain, I have some interesting things. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll let and you I'm guys reading. reveal that in game, and if you get any cool feats you want to share, feel free. Um, but that'll Good. be it for tonight. Thank you all for coming to the return of Titan's Edge. We should hopefully have another game next week. I think that'll run just fine. Heck yeah. So that is currently the plan. Mm -hmm. If you have enjoyed the stream, well, you can catch the videos over on Dice and Fire channel. You can watch a couple of these people for their streams. Because they're fun from time to time, I think. I, I don't know. I don't watch wow. them. But, you know, they seem <laughs> That's cool a here. lie. That's fair. <laughs> Just Look, I pop and watch for like five minutes and get distracted, okay? Then I just leave the stream on, then I pop in again and try to pretend I'm not there because then I feel like I've left the whole time. 
<laughs> but yes, hopefully you guys have all enjoyed the game, all enjoyed your week, and we will see you next time for more Titan's Edge. Bye. 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 Mm-hmm.